Hello and welcome to another episode of Lonely Mountains Downhill. We unlocked a new grasshopper skin. I can't see a dang thing. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Trail 3 Night Rider. Let's do it. Um, let's use the boar. It seems to be the fastest uh, and safest way to travel these treacherous mountains. Um, but yeah, hope you're doing well. Um, rest in peace to uh, NBA star slash legend uh, Kobe Bryant. I don't know. Uh, what is there to say about Kobe that isn't already known? Um, I guess my personal take. Um, he... He exemplified, like, competitiveness in a way that was pretty toxic still. Um, like, it's really hard to have competitiveness not be toxic. Um, but it was in a way that he... Uh, he refined his, his talents... With, with that fire, like, kind of using that forging um, imagery. It's, it's, I don't know, it just seemed like every single time he, he had like five different stages in his NBA career. Um, and, I, you know, that, that might be pretty normal for most NBA stars. It's just Kobe's is a little bit more uh, it has a lot more accolades uh, tied to it. I feel like LeBron maybe had like three stages. Um, like his elementary days in, uh, in the Cavs early on and then he had his college days. I don't know where the high school days went. Uh, his college days in the heat, and then he's um, he's kind of matured, and uh, won, you know, the Cavs the championship, uh, 2016. But we're not talking about LeBron. We'll we'll talk about him some other time, because he he honestly has something. <laughs> his presence in my growing up was like. A lot more, a lot more than it seemed. So we'll go back there. Um, but yeah, we're talking about Kobe because he passed away in a tragic helicopter uh, incident. Uh, hopefully, it wasn't like anything. You know, it, hopefully there was no malice involved. You know, somebody trying to pay uh, get payback or like try to get his money, et cetera, et cetera. We don't. Uh, I don't want to assume that, you know, people were kind of trying to trying to do that with Robin Williams when he passed. Um, but 41 years old. 41 years old. I feel like I'm almost there. <laughs> I know everybody who's listening to this that's like older than me is like, kid, for calm down. But it does seem like it's a lot closer than, uh, than you'd think. Because I'm, you know, I'm more than halfway there. Um, I don't know. It, it, it's, it's not really about me. It's, it, it makes you kind of ponder the sanctity of life. Kind of thing, you know, it gets you into that mindset when somebody like that passes away. Um, but honestly, like he he lived like a pretty fulfilled life, you know. I'm sure he has like he not that many regrets, you know, because he he did his thing. He did his thing in life. He he fulfilled his mission. I feel like. Um. It sucks that he doesn't get to enjoy his uh, his riches, you know, throughout his um his adulthood, and his commentary, just the way he thought about basketball, the way he thought about competition. Um, he wrote a book, so I might I might pick that up, 
at some point and uh, listen to it audiobook style. Um, I don't know. It's kind of a somber episode. I figured it was a nice uh, it was a nice one to to talk about during the the night run of uh, of this trail. Um, my brother was a huge fan. He's got he's got Kobe everything. <laughs> you know, like they they're they're kind of, they're kind of the same age. <clears throat> um, my brother's, I think he just turned 40 or something like that. Um, no, wait, I'm 27, he's 14. Okay, so he is, uh, he just turned 41, so he's the same exact age. He's kind of like, uh, like a good comparison between, um, for, for that is like Kyrie Irving is, uh, the same age as me. So when he got drafted, he was in the Cavs. I was just like, man, this dude's making a couple mil. I'm over here making a couple thou. Um. Ay, <laughs> uh, But, Kyrie Irving, awesome basketball player. Probably one of my favorites. Um, just to watch. I know a lot of people don't really like his flat earth thing, but I think he's just memeing. You know, it's, it's a way to get his Twitter trending. Um, people talk about you more, even if it's talking about you like you're crazy. Um. You know, he understands the internet, I feel like. Um, we're not we're not talking about Kyrie though. So my brother is a huge fan of uh of the black mamba. And uh you can kind of uh you can kind of feel it, you know? Like all the people on my Facebook wall, all the people that are uh tweeting like my my number one influence just uh just passed away you could feel that competitive fire that just that uh that went straight to all of his uh all the people that he inspired it's kind of cool but it's also kind of like yikes <laughs> because personally that that competitive fire like to that level um, I feel like it has its place, but a lot of times it it causes some problems and some friction in, especially with working with people that aren't that competitive. You know, aren't all about being the the best in the room, if you will. Um, and that's not like <clears throat> I guess I'm kind of basically I'm saying like I I have that kind of dissonance with my brother and it kind of makes sense but uh, it's the same exact thing with the people that are saying the same thing like um, you know it just goes to show that uh, that that influence like Kobe was probably besides like Michael Jordan he was probably one of the first like influencers that not uh, named that, <laughs> you know, just like how memes were in existence before memes actually were uh, were a thing that that's branded. <clears throat> I don't know where I'm going with this. Basically, yeah, Kobe was a huge inspiration to a lot of people, uh, and you can you can feel it. You can feel that inspiration when somebody. Um, not worships, but like, kind of, uh, has the same mentality that, uh, that Kobe preached, if you will. And, um, th it takes somebody pretty special to do that. I respect that pretty, uh, I, I respect that a lot. You know? That's why I try to, I try to have um, people that kind of have the same vibe of what I'm, I'm going for in my earbuds. Because, you know, what, what goes in comes out kind of thing. Um, 
I hope I'm a positive influence to, to your daily life. <laughs> I don't know if I'm like, like at all at that level of influence. If anything, I just, I don't know. I'm a good, uh, I'm a good sounding board for a lot of people that, <laughs> that want to just talk on streams and on Discord. Um, but, you know, if I ever get to that point, that's that's the kind of influential power that, that like, that, that people are giving you when if they listen to your stuff, that's... That's incredible. <laughs> um, and not to make this, like, an influential... or an influencer conversation, but for real, like... It's really impressive. <clears throat> Just the power of uh, of what you're listening to, because I don't know. You can call this the what makes your personality arc. In the last like 25 episodes, we've uh, we've been talking about how like uh, how your what, what friends you pick, what uh, what what uh, relationships you're you're in, and now what people you let. What people you listen to? <laughs> what people you let into your uh, your mind space, if you will? <laughs> not, I'm not talking about MySpace. Nope. Sorry, Tom. You can turn back around to your chalkboard. What was that on the? Well, what what was that behind Tom? In that picture, he was just like giving a thumbs up. I always thought that that photo was like green screened. And like it wasn't actually Tom, but like why wouldn't it actually be Tom? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I'm going insane. <clears throat> Speaking of which, let's see if we can go down this hill. I'm gonna take the risk. <gasps> He's done it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, there's specific people that I I kind of uh, filtered out recently. Um from my well recently as in like the past two years because uh I, I don't know. I just I, I felt my my own personality shifting to to match theirs and uh uh, the way I was talking to people just uh it it's weird because you start noticing your uh more things clash between your personality and other people as you grow up you know the more defined the the more you're kind of figuring out yourself the more you realize you don't want certain people in your earbuds and that that counts as friends, like I don't know. I guess you never want to be at the point where you're just tossing every friendship out because you don't like how they make you feel. <laughs> I guess you could say I've I've been. Oh no, not this part. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, I guess you could say that I've. Uh, Stop talking to a lot of people that just, you know, e either only complain or just uh, ma the majority of conversation is just like, you know, what's bad about life? What's bad about this company? What's bad about that company? What's bad about this game? And, um, and it's, it's not that I just want, like, happy people around because that's frustrating, too. You know, there's just got to be that balance. <laughs> and, uh, it's weird. Just, it's really hard to find that balance because most people my age just are, are, are higher, are, um, kind of just curmudgeon y. <laughs> but, uh, did we peep all of that? Yo, it only took us 14 minutes to do all three of these. That's pretty legit. All right, let's go back to. This time of day, let's check out the Geronimo paint job we just got. Which one is it? 
I don't know. Doesn't matter. Um, 15 crashes or fewer. 230 or less. Okay. Well, we could try to do both of these. <clears throat> what are we? 15 minute mark? Let me take a sip of water. <clears throat> I don't know. A lot of you guys are probably going to be like, well, I don't want to be like you. So I'm going to stop listening to this. <laughs> Perfectly fine. That's what I'm saying. Like what you use your time for, I feel like is, is very, it, it shows. Um, and I don't know if you're like a college student with like too much time or like, you know, high school kid, et cetera, et cetera. Um, <clears throat> but like, you know, your, your, your time is your most valuable resource. And maybe this is like a multitasking thing. That's what I like to do with these kinds of videos anyways, you know. I, I keep them on the side while I'm doing something. Um, and kind of like turn around and take a look at what's going on. That's why I like playing games that I feel like uh, are, are going to be easier to understand as soon as you look at it. You know, not, not much DAE, if you will. Um, not much uh, where it's harder to figure out what's going on on the, uh, on the screen. Uh, everything... That's, that is exciting should be very visible. And that's kind of, um, yeah, that's going to be my approach at least. If that makes sense. Hopefully you like it. If you don't, then you know. There's, um, there's a billion other people trying to do the same exact thing I'm doing. I'm not doing anything that special, to be honest. Um, maybe I'm, I don't know. If you think otherwise, then uh, hit, hit me up in the comment section. No, it, you don't need to do that. I don't know why we're taking a break here. I just figured this was a good shortcut. <laughs> Might as well hit that up. 185. That's fine. Let's go this way. Oh, ho, 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 ho. 15 crashes is a lot, though. Okay. Sorry for the silence there. Baby started crying again, so I just need to set an alarm. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. You know? What I always tell myself when it comes to just late night crying um, with the baby, you know, you take the good with the bad. You take the happy. You, you take the the giggles with the uh, the nights of pure terror. <laughs> she hasn't had like a like this kind of a night in a while though, so we're we're uh, we're adjusting. I'm glad my 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 uh, my viewers are pretty understanding them. <laughs> you know, it, it's not like I. Ugh. It's not like I have anybody that's just like, why don't you stream every night? You know, it's not like it's not like that. Um. So I appreciate your understanding. If you are a viewer of the stream, um. There we go. 210. That's not bad. <clears throat> but yeah, babies are... It, it's it's tougher when... They can't talk quite yet. You know? Um, and it, tougher is, is kind of a relative word, I know. Um, you know, but there's obviously a couple more hardships that come when you, when they can talk. In that, you know, maybe, maybe they say too much, <laughs> they talk all the time, but right now we're in the phase where it's just like, I don't know what to do because you don't, you're not telling me what you need. Um, so that's kind of been, that's kind of been the scenario the past couple of days, you know, she's getting frustrated because 
she needs to communicate with us that something's wrong. Like she she can't breathe because she's got the snot all over her nose. Um you know, maybe she had a bad nightmare. Um keeps on happening and we just need to get her to relax a little bit. Um you know, it, it's <laughs> you know, it, it's just things you figure out along the way. I'm probably deterring a lot of you potential parents uh, in the future to, to ever get a kid or ever have a child, not get a kid. You don't get a kid. I, I don't know. I don't know where. I'm just trying to course correct here. Um, <laughs> I guess you can technically get a kid if you're like adopting, but at that point, you you say adopt. You know, that's kind of like a, a very special thing to uh yeah, that's something to brag about you know um but like yeah it's it's uh it, it comes with all of its um all of the issues that you think that would happen the, that you think you would uh run into and then and then some yeah i thought it was ready uh <laughs> every every potent like Every dad and uh, up like future dad. Wait, what's what's the word I'm looking for here? Potential dad? No. Everybody. I mean, unless you're. What the? We lost by three seconds. That's what happens when I get distracted, dude. Alright, well, <laughs> if you like the video, hit that like button. If you, uh... What's the rest of this? Sub for support? Yeah, S, that's a double S. I don't know. I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. See ya.